how much should you tell your lawyer? This was an interesting conversation that came up recently, and it's something people ask when they go in to meet with counsel. And so as a practicing lawyer who's been in the business world for a long time, I can tell you, in general, you want to tell your lawyer everything. In general, your conversations with your lawyer are going to be protected from disclosure. There's limited exceptions. When you meet with your lawyer, they can talk with you about those exceptions if you're concerned about disclosure. But generally, when you're talking to your lawyer, it's one of the few times when you can actually just open up, tell the truth, and then actually not worry about the consequences. Now, if you're planning to commit a crime, if you're maybe going to harm some other people financially and otherwise, there may be limited circumstances where the lawyer can go in there. But if you're an honest person and you're just trying to deal with the consequences of the past, rectify things, in general, what you say is going to be protected. Again, your lawyer will tell you what the limits are when you meet with them. But you want to have that open discussion in general because the lawyer needs that information. And here's what's difficult as a lawyer, and this will help you understand why you want to tell them more is you need to build your client's case as a lawyer, and you want to know what all the facts are because hidden facts can become important facts, particularly if you're in a negotiation where credibility, uh, understanding each other, and being back and forth with the other side is very important. You want to get everything on the table. And I'll tell you, generally, most of our proceedings we do as lawyers are two-sided, right? It's our side, it's their side. We're exchanging information across the table. And Whatever is true from the other side, they're going to know it generally. So even if you don't tell me, and a lot of times I have clients that have been shy and have not told me facts, the other side's lawyer is going to bring it to me because that client will have told that lawyer. So all the facts are generally on the table anyway. And so the lawyer needs that complete information to plan. So that's why these attorney-client privileges and other laws have been developed the way they have, because they want this open and frank discussion between the lawyer and the client, and they want to protect that so that the lawyer and the client can plan the case, so that they can discuss the matters, and so the lawyers don't get drug in as fact witnesses for what the client said or didn't say or whatever. So you have this extra layer of protection, and you should take advantage of it. So talk to your lawyer. When you're early in the engagement, ask them what the extent of the privilege is going to be, what's protected. Ask them if there's anything you say that might not be protected, if this is an issue with you. Um, again, you know, limited circumstances, planning crimes, potential financial harms to others. There's only a handful of cases where the lawyer can really go out and disclose your information to somebody else. So you can pretty much rest assured, subject to the limitations they describe for your jurisdiction and your matter, that everything's protected anyway. So feel like it's a counseling session. Feel like you can just open up. And I guarantee you, in almost all cases, the more you open up, the more you tell your lawyer, the better they're going to be able to plan the strategy to help you get from where you are now to where you want to be in the future. I hope that's helpful. We'd love to see your comments. But remember, comments here are not confidential. If you post them on social media, other people may see them. So keep them to very general and vague questions. Don't disclose your information. If you need to talk about something private, again, use that attorney-client privilege. Go talk to the lawyer of your choosing. Thanks for tuning in today, folks. I hope you subscribe for more tips about business, business law, the future of business here on the channel. And I will look forward to reading those comments, which, subject to the qualification I gave you earlier about keeping it vague and general and not disclosing confidential information, I look forward to reading those and possibly responding. All right, thanks folks for tuning in.